Welcome to another Fast Tech video. Before we start, please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. In today's demonstration, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your PS5 if it's no longer reading your game discs or your Blu-ray movies. Or if it's making noises like these. I'm going to be showing you guys everything from removing objects to cleaning or replacing the laser lens or even replacing the entire disk drive if need to be. And there are some steps that you need to take to do this successfully, which I'm going to be going through in this video today. FastTechStore.com carries all PS5 parts. Check the links in the description box and the pinned comment and you can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. This video was brought to you by the FastTech Pro Auto Kit, which not only disassembles your PS5, but all other kinds of electronic devices. Check the links in the description box and the top comment. Let's get started. So we're gonna start off by removing the stand. If you have one attached, we're gonna hook up a flathead to our FastTech Pro Auto Kit. Now we're gonna remove this flathead. And now the stand should come off like this. Once we have the stand removed, we're gonna get these covers off. By the way, guys, you're not gonna have this USB cable hanging out of your PS5, of course. This is from an LED mod that we did earlier. Check out that video in the description box if you're interested. Now we're gonna remove these top covers by hitting it from the top, from the side that looks like a router. We're gonna Hit the case like that. You don't have to hit it too hard and it's gonna come off like that. Now we're gonna hook up a T9H bit to our FastTech Pro Auto Kit or even a T8H would work. And now we're gonna remove these screws. For the next step, we have to remove this warranty sticker and that will void your warranty if you're outside the United States. But if you're watching this within the United States, this is no longer considered a warranty sticker due to an FTC ruling. But I figured I'd mention that anyways. Also, in case you're watching this outside the United States, you will lose your warranty if you remove the sticker. But if you wanna bypass the sticker without damaging it, you can use a heat gun as demonstrated in this video we did earlier. Once your warranty sticker is removed, you're gonna see these XOs on the sticker that you're seeing here, which will tell you that this system has already been opened up in the past. As I mentioned earlier, on your PS5, you'll not see this USB cable and this strip right here. This is the FastTech LED RGB mod that we did earlier. So you will not see the strip or this USB hanging out of your PS5. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this warranty sticker, put it to the side, and you're gonna see another T9H screw underneath. So we're gonna hook up a T9H bit to our FastTech Pro Auto Kit or even a T8H would work. Now we're gonna remove these screws. This one here, this one here, this one here. And our FastTech Pro Auto Kit is magnetized, so that does help a lot when getting these screws out. This one here, Normally there'd be a screw in here, but this one's already removed and missing. This one here. That one's a little bit hard to get out. We're gonna leave that one in there. This one here. This one here. In the corner. Now we're gonna have to remove this piece of trim simply by lifting it up like that. Now we're gonna remove this cover, which is uh, a sticker basically, that covers these connectors for the fan and the disc drive. So we're just gonna simply pull it off. It's gonna come off like that. Now we're gonna disconnect this cable. You can try grabbing the white part of the connector. Do not try to grab the off-white part, which is on the motherboard. Do not pull that out or you, you will be screwed. Grab the white part of the connector, wiggle and pull, or what I like to do, and what will make your life a little bit easier, is if you grab all of the wires at the same time, 
slowly wiggle and pull. That's a lot safer than trying to grab the, the white part of the connector because a lot of you rip out this piece and game over if you do that, quite literally. And we're also gonna remove the cable from this side here. We also have to remove the fan connector, which is here. We will also have to remove the fan itself. And at this point, I will have to remove this LED right here, which again, you will not have to do. So let's just get this out of the way. Now there's some torque screws that hold the fan in. This one here, this one here, this one here, and this one here. Now we're gonna lift up this piece right here, and now we're gonna remove the fan like that. And that's the PS5 fan right there. There's a couple of screws here that I'm gonna have to remove. Also T98 screws. There's one here. And now we have to remove this Phillips screw for the SSD cover. Remove the SD cover. Let's remove the SSD cover. Now there's a Phillips screw here that we have to remove. And there's a washer on it that you must not lose. At this point, I should be able to remove the cover, which is this piece right here. And it should be coming off. Like this, boom. Now we've removed the cover. Now we have access to the disk drive. This is why we're here. We have to push down on this clip like this and then pull out this cable like that. Do not pull on this cable without pushing that clip. And now the disk drive is free. Let's get the PS5 console out of the way and let's focus on the component that we need to work on. Now this is the disk drive right here. A lot of people make the mistake of simply getting the old disk drive out, installing a new one that they ordered from a random site like eBay or Amazon. That's your first mistake. You should have ordered it at fasttechstore.com. Your second mistake is not retaining this circuit board, which is called the logic board and also referred to as the daughter board. This green logic board that you're seeing through the case of the drive has to stay with your PS5. So if you order a new disk drive from fasttechstore.com, you can use the coupon code YouTube for a discount, you need to take out your old logic board and install it into the new Blu-ray disk drive. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that just now. There's some screws that have to be removed on the disk drive. So we're gonna go ahead and remove them with our FastTech Pro Auto Kit. at the front one over here now we're gonna remove these screws so let's remove these four screws here here and here and now the bottom panel was already separated but this part of the disk drive is gonna fall down like this. Because those screws that we removed were holding this part onto the roof. Now we have access to the logic board. This is the logic board, also referred to as the daughter board, and you should treat it with just as much respect as you would treat your main board. If you mess this up, your PS5 is not gonna read discs again. And this is the logic board that has to go into your new disk drive. Doesn't matter if your new disk drive came with a disk drive logic board already, this logic board has to be retained because, because there's a key on the disk drive logic board that must match your motherboard, otherwise the PS5 will not accept it. We're gonna remove these two screws here. One of them's here and the other one's here. We're gonna remove these two screws. 
These are the only two screws that hold the logic board down. There's a ribbon cable here that we can pull out like this. There's this cable here that we can pull out. Make sure you hold down the logic board at this point because nothing's holding it on. Now this one here has to come out like this. These ones simply pull out. Now we can remove the bottom panel. Keep holding on to the logic board with your fingers. Now we have to remove this clip right here. This cable is for the laser lens. Let's lift up this clip like this. Cable comes out and now our logic board is free. This is a UHN-010 disk drive logic board for a PS5 and that is the disk drive itself. And we do sell these disk drives at fasttechstore.com. If you're interested, check the links in the description box. Use the coupon code YouTube for a discount. Now at this point, we can recycle our old disk drive and get the new disk drive in from fasttechstore.com, which may or may not come with the logic board already. Usually we remove the logic boards, but if you get one with the disk drive logic board, you have to remove that old logic board and install your original disk drive logic board because this is paired or married to your PS5 motherboard. So this is our new disk drive, for example, from fasttechstore.com. Now we would install our old logic board into the new disk drive. And our disk drives do come with a warranty sticker, so if you remove it, you do lose the warranty. And that also helps us track to make sure that the disk drive is the same one you sent back in case there are issues. Because we do offer a lifetime warranty on all of our parts. That's right, a full lifetime warranty. So within the lifetime of the part or your lifetime, the customer, if the disk drive or any other component you order from fasttechstore.com is to fail, you can send it back for a replacement. If your PS5 disk drive is making noises like these, Chances are you have small children at home and they've stuck coins, cards, or other objects into the disk drive. We can remove these objects by removing these four Phillips screws using our FastTech Pro Toolkit. And once we have those screws out of the way, we should be able to lift the roof mechanism off. This mechanism helps pull the disk in. And note the position of the gears. That is what a working disk drive is supposed to look like. Also, what can cause problems is these rollers. If these are knocked out of place, your disk drive is no longer going to accept disks. This right here is the laser lens. If your PS5 sounds like it's trying to spin the disk and then it stops and tries to spin it again, the problem is most likely the laser lens. The first thing you want to do is clean the laser lens using isopropyl alcohol purchased at fasttechstore.com. And you always want to clean the laser in a circular motion as demonstrated here. There's four screws that we have to remove to get to the laser lens if you are replacing it. And we do sell the laser lens with the deck at fasttechstore.com in case you were wondering. Once those four screws are removed, there's a ribbon cable in the front that we're going to have to remove as well. Simply pull out this ribbon cable and the laser deck should be free. And as I mentioned before, we do sell not just the laser deck, but all PS5 parts at fasttechstore.com. And you can use the coupon code YouTube for 5% off on any part or service listed on our website. The model number for this PS5 laser is KM497 AAA. And this is the same laser used on all PS5 models release currently and I suspect the future PS5s, the Slim and the Pro systems that are about to come out very very soon are going to use the same laser. But of course, I could be wrong. Only time will tell. So at this point you can replace the laser deck purchased of course from fasttechstore.com. Why would you buy it anywhere else? We're going to reinstall this ribbon cable. Make sure it's in all the way till the blue line as demonstrated here. At this point, we're ready to reinstall the laser lens with deck into the disk drive. There's four screws that we have to reinstall. In this demonstration, I am using the FastTech Pro Toolkit, which is the manual screwdriver that we offer 
So for people who, for whatever reason that I don't understand, don't want an automatic screwdriver, you can also get a manual screwdriver from our website as well, which has all the bits that our auto kit does. Please note that you do not want to touch the head of the laser lens at any point in time. Now we can reinstall the drive roof mechanism. And uh, at this point, we're just going to make sure that it's lined up correctly and flat. And then we're going to install the four screws that hold it in. At this point, I want to remind viewers that these videos take a lot of time and effort to make. So if you can, please go ahead and drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. That helps us out tremendously. Now I'm going to install my old logic board onto the new disk drive. So we need to install some cables back, of course. So this one goes here like this all the way to the blue line. This one goes on like this here all the way to the blue line. Now we have to install this cable here. This operates the roof mechanism that knows when the disk drive is being inserted. And now we're going to finally install the cable for the laser lens. Very, very important. They're all important, but this one even more so. Make sure, make sure it's pushed in all the way in and then push that clip down. Now let's install this into the bottom panel of our disk drive. We're going to install these two screws. We're going to use the light on our Fastech Pro Auto Kit to help us see a little bit better. Not that I need any more light, but I just wanted to make sure that you guys know about this feature because this whole video is a shameless plug for FastTechStore.com. Now this screw goes in here. Perfect. Now. We're gonna install the mechanism, but you wanna make sure that this cable does not get pinched. Because you can easily get this caught on the side of the disk drive, which would be very, very bad. That will not be covered by your lifetime warranty because we do not cover physical damage. Now let's install the screws that we removed. Let's start with these screws here. One here. Now we're going to install all these black small screws that we removed. Here, 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 two at the front here, here. Here, and last one, now our new disk drive is ready to be installed in our PS5. Now we're going to place the disk drive back in its place, right around here, and reinstall the flat ribbon cable, push the clip down and then insert. Now we're gonna reinstall this cover back on. Now we're gonna reconnect this cable. And now we're also gonna connect this cable here on this side. And now it'd be a good idea to test our PS5 to make sure it works. So I'm gonna plug in the power cable. Let's insert the disc. This is the correct orientation. You know, it appears upside down, but that's the right way to put it. And that is what your disk drive is supposed to sound like when it's working. So it looks like we did everything properly. And now we can continue with the reassembly. We're going to start with these screws. And we're going to start installing them here, here, here. Took up our T9 back onto our FastTech Pro Auto Kit. one here this one here 
there is a torque screw that goes in here but that one was missing this tall one goes in here this long one goes in here in this corner This silver one goes here. This one goes in here. This one goes in here. This silver screw goes in here. Now we're gonna install this one uses a Phillips and with the washer on it this is for your SSD and also holds the board down goes on in here like that Just one more torque screw which goes here There's another torque screw, but that one was missing. Now we're gonna reinstall the fan assembly. You have to be very, very careful when installing the screws for the fan. You do not wanna mix these up. Now we're gonna install the connector, which goes in like this. Tuck the cable in here. And now we're gonna install this cover and the cable goes through here like this. Now we're going to install the screws. Now these are different lengths and you do not want to mix these up because if you do, you can damage the motherboard. There's three different sizes, four screws in total. Okay. And this is where each one goes. These two that are the same length, they're on this side, the shortest one here and the long one in here. And then this one in here. Now let's install this cover back on. Very Japanese design there to cover the cables. I imagine because of the sliding cover, they didn't want the cables to get caught in there. Let's install the SSD cover back on. This side goes in first. Phillips screw that holds it in. Let's switch up the Fastech Pro Auto Kit. Links in the description box. Let's install this screw that goes in here. Now we have to install, oh this is an optional step right here. Now I have to install and you guys won't have to do this unless you've purchased this kit from us which I'll include in the description box. This is the LED setup on this PS5. Now we're gonna install the grate, which is what you, you guys are gonna be doing. It lines up here, like this, and then just push it down. Boom. Now let's install the cover back on. And it goes on like this, put it right around here, and then you gotta slap it in place. Now let's reinstall the stand. All done. And that concludes our PS5 disk drive replacement video. If this video helped you out, please be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel because that helps us out a lot. If you need a PS5 disk drive, please check out the links in the description box or go to fasttechstore.com. Thanks for watching another Fast Tech video. Before you leave, please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell next to the subscribe button to get notifications. This is Shiroz from Fast Tech signing out and I'll see you in the next one.